What is it? Bravo! So Bravo! Sorry. I've seen you on the feeds, warning people about the relic. Guys, like shining apart. come and gone. You wound up on the short end. How you holding up? Well, I don't treat it as a loss, you see. To me, it's a minor setback. Hit me with something strong. Japanese whiskey, perhaps. I have an excellent single malt. Here you are. Come back if you need anything. Starting tomorrow. Talk to Songbird via the relic. We can communicate again. Hmm. All good there, Reed? Yeah. I just need to process for a minute. It's just how I'm built. A little adversity, and I need a few moments to think. Come up with anything? Yeah. We now know who took a swipe of Myers' head. Thinking Songbird planned the whole thing. You're thinking right. Don't know about you, but I see coincidences as patterns. Structures we have yet to recognize. Hmm. What you driving at? SF-1 crashes. Not anywhere, but over specific turf. Controlled by someone who found some obscure forgotten tech in a secret bunker. Right. Crash was an inside job. We suspected that from the get-go. Now we know it was. And we know it was Songbird. She was behind it. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking too. The minute she mentioned the cure, said Hansen has it. 
Everything just started sliding into the right boxes, completing the picture. Yeah, same here. She made a deal with Hanson earlier. Had to, before any of this went down. Traded the president's life for access to the tech. The NUS Prez sold to a crime lord. Huge if true. Maya's press had sold me to reach further, breach boundaries, and then sold me snapped. If there's truth to this, Song's guilty of high treason. Her and her actions, I won't judge. Not my place. As I see it, Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hansen and you. She has Hansen set, then you come in. She contacts you via the relic, asks you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always her strength. But judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. Still trust her. Trust she'll keep her word. Promise me the cure, and I fully intend to get it. Only thing that matters, really. I be careful. Mind sharp. Eyes and ears attuned. But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. So, what are you thinking about all this? I'm not convinced Somi's to blame for everything. In this trade, nothing's ever as it seems. You gotta keep asking questions till you get to the bottom of it. That's experience talking. Main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. Then we'll see which direction to take. Right. Still should watch your every move closely. Sure. Unconditional trust? No more. Out the window. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hansen. Prep for it's required. Cause we show up as a pair of runners. We need to collect their identities first. Whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of yore. Who are they and where do we find them? So, how's one go about it? Klepping someone's personality? FIA Menanthropic Tech. Alex has access. You seem to use it already. You look, sound, and act like the individual whose personality you assume. To do it, we need scans of our targets. Song got this shard to me. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister, red-haired twins. They're here somewhere, schmoozing. Hmm. Okay, we need to pull data, get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. Got it, I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. <laughs> wow. Traced him in a flash, Reed. Noticed him some time ago. They stand out even in this mountain pot. Twin roulette, looks like. Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. Feed, zipping funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. 
Just don't go all in from the get-go. We stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Let's get to this. Struck gold with roulette, really. Gambling throws people around, high and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. Greetings, sir. Want to buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. V, important. You're not there to have fun. Simple bets, red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit, understood? Understood. Need an array of emotions, so provoke, but subtly so, or they'll clam up. Scan will be a bust. Will you join us? Twenty-three. Odd. Red. Place your bets, please. Bedding's open. By all means. Black it is, then. Relax. Buy him drinks, break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. All bets are in. Bedding is closed. What? No introduction? V. You. Aurore Cassel. And that boar is my brother, Emmerich. How's things? Any luck? We started just moments ago. What's your poison? My treat. A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? Same as the lady. Bourbon coming up. Your drinks will be here shortly. 27. Odd. Mais oh, merde! Place your bets, please. <laughs> Last chance. Let's go, let's go. Red. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails too. Like all these bastards and bitches. That is, unless you're a tourist. Like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative, this one. You are struck speechless? Yeah. Conscience ain't sparkling clean. No. Mmm, I like those who brag about such things. 30. Even. Red. Ah, yes. Ah, fucking done here! Duh! <sighs> Place your bets, please. I can't help feeling I interrupted something when I walked up. Do not worry yourself about this. Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. Miss Pavi, you weren't snooping just now, were you? Even black. Still no sign from Reed, V. Got a sinking feeling about this. Place your bets, please. Eight's my magic number, so gonna go with eight. Uh, 
Yeah, he got me. On to you big time. But in my defense, you guys stand out. Even in a crowd like this one. Oh, really? Listening to conversations of strangers can be... dangerous. Sometimes you can hear more than you can handle. Listen, Reed's MIA for now, can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. We were discussing local politics, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. So I was thinking, uh, perhaps Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, no? I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. Nine. Odd. Red. Ugh. Guess it's not my lucky day. Place your bets, please. Who is Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Tread carefully with that duo, V. What do you think? Will you tell? I'm certainly not liable to become a tax-paying, law-abiding night citizen. Kickbacks to NC officials. Are they not taxes, not protection money? Doing business carries a price. Dogtown needs Night City to prosper. Hansen needs it. Une diversification of profit centers makes sense. I myself have a small firm in Paris. My stand-in takes calls, arranges meetings, and deflects, deflects, deflects. Why would he need that? Hansen! Uh, providing weapons to banana republics is not quite a sure and stable business. 28. Even. Black. Tu ne serais pas en train de devenir trop pote avec lui Mais fais pas ton jaloux, petit frère C'est pas comme si elle allait baiser, lui et moi Charming little show you're putting on. You see, Amrik We are charming I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat eject the junkies, and make it a paradise for billionaires. Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community. Invest, create jobs, throw banquettes. She's getting chatty. Doing good, V. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. 32. Even. Red. Place your bets, please. You're so childish. It's beautiful. What? Hansen going missionary position in business? Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. Let's go. Swap twins. Man basically owns Dogtown. Could use that as leverage. And who would Hansen be? The mayor? Please. He is very good at what he does. A professional criminal. Soldier yesterday, crime lord today. Why not biz shark tomorrow? Yet he is a businessman. And to make it legal, it is a lot of work to do for a simple change of label. Good. Little worms opening up. Seven. Odd. Red. Oh, putain! Place your bets, please. Got much respect for upright, honest peeps, do you? Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to uh, change how people see you, call you, to be upstanding in the eyes of others, I could not give a shit. Thirteen. Odd. Black. Ouais, par ici l'argent. Viens voir maman. 
Place your bets, please. Getting there. Almost got it. Give me something big now. Make them laugh or cry, I don't care. Please place your bets. Like the tingle of risk. Oh, mon vieux, t'as pas d'idée. Thinking we can add a little spice to our game. I'm listening. My, my, I too, I'm curious. How about we go all in? Bet everything we won tonight. <gasps> and we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. My thoughts exactly. A moment. You join the table, buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. Tread lightly. Professional thief, that's who I am. Robbed the Orinobu Arasaka once. Figured I'd rob Hanson too. Or you for that matter. Ah, isn't he marvelous? You choose first then. Black's my choice. Uh, we are red, as our hair, a luscious color. some folks leave us for a moment if you please a goodbye then I know your friend Reed is FIA my natural assumption is you're an agent too I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the president then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night City in body bags, filled with pieces. You trying to scare me? Dunno. Are you afraid? We're just talking, aren't we? Wow, you cracked it. Clever man. To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face, the bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. So what now? Gonna kidnap me? Torture me? I will let you and Reed walk free of this place. In one piece. On your own two feet. Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the Black Wall, jeopardizing the net, all humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain? I wonder what Netwatch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Okay, V. Got all we need. Okay. What do I do now? Haul ass out of there. Son of a bitch said I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the fates. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. Need to know what's up with Saul.
going to eat something, Lizzie. Hey there, Lizzie. Fee, what are you doing here? Could legitimately ask you the same. <laughs> yeah, I might be a little out of place, but I get around. And Dogtown, well, it always gets my blood. Fortunately, I have darling Avi here. Avi's my new bodyguard. The best I've ever had, if a little too overprotective. Pleasure, Avi. Next release. Planned or maybe even worse already? Kinda. For now, though, I'm obsessed with galaxies, nebulae, and sea turtles. Uh-huh. Care to elaborate? <laughs> v, with that you know more than my producer. Patience, please. You'll just have to wait. Looking like you're about to Delta out of here. Making my exit soon, yeah. But from one party on to another. A chum of mine from Lagos is throwing one on his yacht. Friends, fireworks, diving, a private fashion show. Hmm, <laughs> shame. Some R&R &R out on the water would do you good. But I'm sure you're like, super busy. Plus, knowing him, there's gonna be drama, so I'm totally sparing you. Totally. Thanks. Headset's Nova, Lizzie. <laughs> like it? Here, it's yours then. For real? Sure, got loads of them. You'll look like you're on Team Liz Wiz. It's liable to take you places. I want you to have it. Thanks, Lizzie. Hey, how you holding up? Last time we saw each other was, uh, you know. I'm doing great. Really inspired with me. Never felt better. Yeah, never felt better. Hope it stays that way. Enjoy your evening, Lizzie. Take care, V. And you keep skating along that edge. So fun. I'll be ready to bug out of here at five. Up to you. Oh, it's up to me? Come on. Don't act like you enjoy the jawing of these podium pounders and career criminals. Yeah. Not as much. In that case, I'm gonna haul over man. Unless there's anyone else you want to talk to. Well, I was hoping to have a word with Kurt about other things. I can talk to him for you. No, don't bother. Another time, I suppose. You know, you shouldn't be talking to him. That man is dangerous. Even for Lizzie Wizard. You know my thoughts on this. All too well. Will you listen? <laughs> oh. Toughest ass rocker girl ever. Took her own life when I was nine. Were she here, she'd fucking burn.